Hey, what's going on, everybody? Davey Deals here. It's uh, Thursday, March the 30th. I figured since I had some time, I figured I'd make a second video. Not sure what happened on that last one. I was kind of hearing myself over the mic, so we're going to give this another shot. Uh, anyways, guys, what we're here to talk about today is uh, printing Amazon barcodes and shipping labels. It's pretty easy. I'm not sure uh, what you guys all use. Personally, my preference is going to be the Dymo, D-Y-M-O. I've uh, included links in my uh down below, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, they're there. Um, anyways, guys, so when it comes to printing off labels uh, for your a Amazon barcodes, it's actually really easy. Uh, you're going to go ahead and open up the PDF like so, and what you're going to go do is you're going to go into Edit, go to Take a Snapshot, and you're just going to go ahead and select the Amazon barcode, go to Print. Now, this is big, guys. A lot of people... Um, I, I hear questions on, hey, I can't for some reason get my, uh, my, my barcode to print properly on my label, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, obviously, you're going to make sure that you're selecting the correct printer. Um, then what you're going to do is go to page setup. Now, I personally use the two and a quarter and the one and a quarters on the 450 Turbo uh, label writer. So what you're going to end up selecting is you're going to go to 30334, uh, which is going to be the two and a quarter, one and a quarter labels. Um, and then you're just going to go ahead and hit print. Now that's going to print those out perfectly each and every single time. Um, let's see here, we're going to go ahead and pull up the package. Now, when you print the package, I personally, for my 4x6 labels, I use the uh, Dymo Label Writer 4XL. Let's go ahead and go to view and get this uh, uh, so we can actually read it. Get a little bit smaller. So using the 4XL, what you're going to do is you're going to do the exact same thing. Just go in, you're going to take a snapshot. Uh, this is a uh, not the actual package for the uh, stuff that I'm sending out right now, but just for uh, instructional purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. What you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and hit print. Exact same thing. You're going to go up to the uh, printers. You're going to make sure you're selecting your 4XL and or again, whatever one that you're using. Then you're going to go to the page setup, guys. Click on that, and you're going to go ahead and select the 1744907. That's going to be the 4x6 labels. Now, folks, regardless of whatever printer you're using, <clears throat> the numbers are going to still apply and be the same. So the 1744907 is going to be the same if you're using a Zebra or another type of printer, uh, just as well as if you're using the 450 Turbo. For the labels I mentioned, the 2 and a quarters and the 1 and a quarters, you're going to use the 30334. So just make sure you're doing that. Uh, I see a lot of questions of people saying, hey, I can't get this stuff to print properly. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, personally, folks, I love the Dymo printers. Um, they're thermal printers, so you don't ever have to buy ink. Uh, I don't like using just your standard household printer for printing labels such as Avery labels. And the reason why, you guys, is because it's just paper. Uh, the stuff that is uh, used on the actual labels, it's more of like a plastic-like material, not quite. But it's more durable, um, and it's less prone to damage and they're wiping away, say, if it rains or stuff like that. Obviously, the, the unit's going to be in the box, so it's not going to get damaged from the rain. But I just mean as far as, like, the longevity goes, it's, uh, it's, it's a superior product if you're using just the thermal printers on the, the, these labels. Um, but, yeah, guys, I really hope you guys liked the video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button down below. I'm going to continue to uh, create content uh, and or if you guys request certain stuff. Let me know. I'd be more than happy to create a video on it. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll catch you later.